So what I got behind me is a pile of stuff that I'm getting ready to put in this toy hauler. Now is this thing going to be a rolling sound showroom? No. I'm doing upgrades. I'm making it better. I'm making it more comfortable. This thing isn't going to be a party on wheels. It's going to sound good. The TV situation is going to be straight. Going to have the satellite hooked up. I'm trying to hang a TV back in that back bedroom. We're going to go ahead and do a projector and paint the wall white. So the thing is back here. We don't have a heck of a lot of room to hang a TV or anything like that. Don't mind this, this is just practice because I was seeing how it would look. So when the door is closed, the projector is going to shoot out of this cupboard, onto this wall, and then when it's open, it'll be the same thing. I already had it on, I was practicing a little bit with it, it's about a 48 inch TV on the wall, and I don't have to hang it from the ceiling, so it's going to work out great. The speaker on the projector sounds like crap, so I'm going to put a couple of speakers in here, just so we can hear it good. The projector will hide up in this cupboard. And when not in use, the door will obviously be shut and hidden completely out of sight. And if you're wondering why I have a brand new TV when this thing came with one, well, basically, you know how we do it. This is a 32 inch TV. It's got a huge bezel, like inch and a half all the way around. Just ancient, very stock, very basic. I don't do stock and I don't do basic. Well, I try not to. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to exchange that out. We're going to put this thing up there. Should look a lot better. It's got a really thin trim bezel on the outside edge. So it's basically going to be almost the same size, just less bezel, less plastic. So, and it's super, super light. I can pick this up with, with my pinky, no problem. So no weight isn't going to be an issue. Got a thousand watt pure sine wave inverter. This way I could run those delicate items without having that crazy square wave while the generator isn't on. Basically to save settings, charge phones, run the TV. Got a projector right here. BenQ. As of right now, I haven't chosen the amplifiers I'm gonna use or the speakers. Like I said, this thing is not gonna be a party bus. It's gonna sound good, so I'm gonna replace the speakers with something better. I'm gonna have a couple of amplifiers, maybe two, maybe three small ones. They're gonna run everything off either this factory deck or whatever I end up doing with it. I know for sure I'm gonna put an iPad in here with a sound man side slider kit as soon as i get one i'm gonna mold it all up into there and um i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with this the only reason i would even keep this is because it's got three different zones that i could choose with a button and i sort of like that because then i can send my different zones to where they need to go and honestly this thing is just a slave it's just doing what you're telling it to do you're gonna have all sort of inputs going into it from other spots so i don't think it's gonna be a problem to keep it but then again if i find something better you know i'll do that only time will tell. So don't mind my spaghetti wires as I'm just hooking things up to see how it will all work. That's my satellite box right there. That's going to end up going up there somewhere. And the main, I main reason I got that 1000 watt power inverter back there was because every time you turn that dish TV satellite box off, when you go out to go riding and you come back, it takes like 15, 20 minutes to initialize again. Then you got to start all over. So every time you shut the generator off, all the power in the trailer goes off other than a couple of little dome lights. So with the new excess power batteries that you saw in the last video hooked up, that 1000 watt pure sine wave power inverter, we should be good to go. I know that when I was at Pismo, I ran that TV for hours off the inverter. It didn't even phase the batteries. So this is going to be a good thing. So obviously, you know, this is not going to happen real fast. This is not going to happen overnight. So we're going to have to start off with one thing at a time while I see what I'm going to do. I'm new to this whole toy hauler thing, this whole RV thing. It's going to be fun to not have to crawl underneath the dashboard to work on stuff for a change, but still challenging because I really don't even know what I want to do. All I know is we're going to start with the video and we'll send some audio cables out from the video. And then once that's done, we'll start tapping in with some other cool stuff. So stay tuned. Here we go. All right. So now that I have everybody's attention, the first thing I'm going to do is swap that TV out. I'm going to have HDMI cables going from that satellite box over to the TV and then from the TV out to the amplifiers this way all my tv stuff is being amplified and it's going to sound good i don't have to use the stock speakers that came in the tv those really sound like dog shit it's ridiculous so let's go ahead and crack this thing open Not bad for an RV. Got enough inputs for what I want. It's super light, so it won't cause a problem. Take a look at it and see what the difference is. Life 
Daniel Vega Haros. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's off. Is it heavy? All right, those are out. There's factory with that clunky factory remote. And there's the new Samsung. All the way at the bottom. All right, you know naturally nothing's gonna work right for me. All three of these bolts were perfect, but this one right here used to hit the shock, so I had to get a different one out of the little tray. So it's gonna work great, it's just a mismatched bolt. I'll probably paint it black so you can't really tell. But um, also, flipping this thing up out of the way, the TV hits right on this bracket. So all of that thing really is is a little chain guide. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that off and put another bolt through there so the chain has something to ride over and then that'll work out good. Of course, you know nothing's just gonna work for me. I'm gonna have to work for it. So here we go, cutting up the brand new RV. Shit, it's like it was nothing. A snap on airsoft, nothing like it. That solved my problem is the real question. It did. Yes, we're in business. What a mess. It's kind of dark in here. You see I got cords everywhere. Got a whole bunch of this stuff. Gonna basically hide the wires in the walls without doing any real permanent damage to the trailer at all. Call your job to let them know where you are. Yeah. Alright, school to let them know you won't be All right, now I got a way to run the wires. Time to hook up the PlayStation 4 and the satellite dish. Alright, that's all hooked up. That's a sky high four gauge running through the RV over to the batteries for the power inverter. Thinking the amplifiers will be over here somewhere and that'll be zero gauge, even though it's not going to be a crazy competition system. Found a good spot to put the power inverter. Got that thing. Custom fitted cables, of course, even for the power inverter. Nice little spot out of the way. Plus I can still get to it if I need to. I was gonna tuck it way underneath the drawers back in there, but then I wouldn't be able to get to anything if I had to. So it's gonna be kinda out of the way, but still accessible at the same time right there.
right, well, this is all but done. All the wires are ran. You can hardly see where anything is. It looks great. It works great. But one thing I need to know, and it's pretty important. I have a power inverter running that TV, a PS4, and a satellite box, as well as the projector in the back bedroom. And I know that thing pulls a lot of power. I can just tell by the heat that's emitting out of that thing. So you know it's pulling a lot of juice. Knowing that I've got a 1,000 watt power inverter, I want to see just how much I'm taxing it. And, uh, you know, it's really important information to know because who knows, you could be hooking up too much stuff and putting the trailer in danger or popping breakers or fuses or whatever. So let's go ahead and see just exactly how much juice I'm pulling out of this thing. Got the disc box, got the PS4. 100% the only reason that I even did this was because the settings on that dish box would get reset every single time I used to shut the generator off and I was a big pain in the ass so here I was running the generator all day long just trying not to lose my settings so gallons and gallons of gas for that little thing but while I was at it I was like wow let's go ahead and turn this TV on and see how it does it's a 40 inch LED TV it doesn't use hardly any power at all and uh, well, we got the PlayStation 4. I'm not sure how much power it takes. I'm sure I could look on the bottom of it, which I haven't done yet. But that don't really matter anyways, because we're going to test it in real time and see exactly how much it's pulling. Okay, let's try to ignore all these wires because everything is super clean, believe it or not. But this is an extension cord that I cut and rigged up so I could do some testing. Or the only thing on right now... is the satellite box that's it I'm gonna reach up and turn this television on I can actually hold the camera and do that at the same time where a loved one has been hospitalized or died after taking Sorelto you may be entitled to substantial compensation call the sentinel all right Rachel. only 60 watts with the satellite and the tv so far let's up the ante and turn the playstation on we'll pick at dan haggerty's place but so far i've gotten shot down on this medieval door i'm hoping he's got other stuff to look at can we look around some more come on in oh my gosh look at this place all right, so that's satellite box, PlayStation 4, and TV. We're looking at about 120 watts. That ain't shit. But I'll tell you what, now it's time to head back and turn the projector on and see what happens. There's a video for a new music group, my friend. Dan Haggerty set up this lead for me and Frankie to go over and meet George Barris to King with George. Dan said he's going to get us in the door to meet George and his daughter, Joji. This is a very rare opportunity. Oh, check it out. All right. This is the guy that created the Munster Mobile, Beverly Hillbillies, the Batmobile. He's the one that made the cars the stars. All right, don't blow it. So with the projector, PlayStation 4, the satellite dish, and the TV, it's pulling right around 400 watts. I think I'm good to go. 1,000 watt inverter, and I actually don't plan on running everything at the same time anyways. Definitely not the projector at the same time as everything else, but I know I can if I want to. Three D printing up some little legs for the projector to try to get just the right angle. Yet the fun never ends. Got the sky high, one knot, zero gauge running from the inside of the cabin back to the back for my future audio upgrades. Let that cool down just a little bit. 
Looks pretty ugly. Brand new. Okay. <laughs> My brother's always 